Clemson down three with nine seconds left in the national championship game. Who do they want the football in the hands of? The answer, Deshaun Watson. No question, best player in college football. Watson goes shotgun, takes the snap. And there's a new king in college football, and long live the king. Whoever takes me is going to be blessed. I can lead a franchise, and I am a franchise guy, and the cream's going to rise to the top. He was college football's top quarterback. I'm leaving home, going across country, getting ready for the biggest job interview of my life, the NFL draft. Now Deshaun Watson has one shot at becoming the top pick in the NFL draft. The stakes have never been higher. It's been a whirlwind. From the last game of the Valley to National Championship, it's just been crazy. First off, I just want to thank all you fans. You know, these past three years, it's been the best experience of my life, and I've enjoyed every single moment. And uh, go Tigers. Simple kid from Gainesville, Georgia. Just finished an amazing college career. Today I'm starting a new chapter. I'm heading to California to start my NFL training. And JP, my trainer, told me not to overpack because there's so much stuff I'll be getting, but it's going to be a fun trip. Jack's granddaughter cries all the time because she doesn't have a signed cow. She wrote you a letter right there. Mama, I got a letter from Jack Brandon. So I said thank you. I'm leaving home, going across country, getting ready for the biggest job interview of my life. It's a lot at stake here, and I only get one shot. You know, I'm a professional now, so I'm just trying to be the best professional I can be. for the national championship last Monday, and then now a week later here in LA, get ready to start a new journey at the professional level. It's more than just, you know, being on the field. That's probably maybe 10% of all the other stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Cool. Yeah, good. Good setup. How was the flight journey? I'm a big believer. Decide what you want and work backwards. Right, have a very, very clear definition, definition of success. You've heard me say this a million times. From a goal setting standpoint, first QB off the board. So I want to like reverse engineer kind of like what that is. This is a guy whose ceiling is incredibly high and all I'm trying to do is raise this floor over the next 10 weeks. What are some things that come to mind in terms of where you want to be at? First, I want to, you know, where to be the starter. So you want to be in a position where it's just the, the team is much better off with you being the starter than whatever the other alternative is. Right. Cool? You know, he has lofty goals. And those goals are not on draft day. All of his goals are his goals at the end of his rookie year. So we are getting ready to have a phenomenal rookie year. So then what happens? Oh, rookie of the year. Super Bowl's a tough one to say. Yeah, right? playoffs. Playoffs. Yeah. Our why is right here. So every meeting, everything that we do together, this is why. I'm just kind of getting suited up for Super Bowl weekend, so I'm a little professional. And we'll have your stuff ready for draft too. But we don't have to pick that up yet, we'll just do Super Bowl now. First time I'm ever at the Super Bowl, so first experience, uh, it's a lot going on. Sean, thank you, good man. We're so proud of you. You're going to do amazing. You got to walk, guys. You got to walk with us. What's up, everybody? What's up, Deshaun? How you doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, I'll be there. I'll see you out there. All right, that's yeah, I'll be there. What will you make your first year as a winner? It depends on where I get drafted. All things kind of fell. Uh, I wouldn't mind whipping up a couple pieces. <laughs> Hello, Deshaun. I've had the opportunity to meet him uh, in New Orleans. He's been to our passing camp. 
take some notes here. Yes, it's the Manning Academy. Let's see how Papa Academy does. Super Bowl was great. Had a great experience. But now it's time to go back to training. Early morning. Combine's coming up soon. So we're getting ready to finish some work. Need some breakfast. About to get together with the boys and learn some ball. Okay, so let's say that we're at a place where we're completely dialed, have all the formations, right? I'm not going to install more formations because everyone's running variations of that. What we're doing is getting him ready for the combine. If you're going to answer the question, are you the best quarterback available in this draft, have a reason why. All of this will definitely, definitely help at the combine because it's going to raise his baseline knowledge, but honestly, it's getting him ready to play. This is the goal. These are the barriers. This is the climb. This is how we do it. I work in the field of sports psychology and mental conditioning. I've had a chance to be with 17 quarterbacks from Tony Romo, Cam Newton, to Eli Manning. They wanted to see your ability to communicate important information. If this is the shape that you're given, he has to draw exactly this. On top, in the middle of the circle, draw a line. <laughs> Can't wait to see this. Your two probably wins it. I think as you enter Indianapolis, you approach each day like a separate event. We know that day one is I get off that plane, everything starts. And then it's, it's the x-rays, it's all the different types of elements. So much is made about the final day. How many passes did Deshaun complete? What was his 40? What was his flexibility numbers? But the reality is there's three other days. Day four, you'll ultimately uh, throw, and then you're in a plane and get the f out of Indianapolis. Run fast, interview well, throw well, and you're giving yourself the best chance to make these decision makers feel like Deshaun Watson's the player we've got to take. We're going to start today, I'm just going to do some stuff with just some breathing. Yoga for someone in that high end athletic realm is all about the focus. Overall, I think this is going to help, you know, his game completely. And exhale, let it all go. I've done yoga before, I've taken classes, so, you know, I'm pretty used to it, but each time is always a challenge. Being able to breathe and being able to relax and be calm is a key component for a quarterback to be successful. You know, yoga is going to help any athlete's game specifically, so I hope it helps him out. So tonight is the mock combine. It's really just the specifics of what's gonna be asked of him in Indianapolis. I'm a competitor, so I'm gonna compete and I'm gonna throw, participate in drills. I got a stopwatch, you're gonna stand there. No one's gonna say anything to you. You're gonna be standing by yourself the whole time. Guy, I'm setting the clock, no one talking to him. It's gonna be hard for me to replicate or manufacture a really chaotic environment, but I'm gonna try and shake him up tonight and have him just weather the storm and stay focused. Number 19, Watson, W. Oh. You won't have a center, so time it up. I'd rather wait, throw it late. Oh. Those are the routes, the close corners weird, back out drills weird, other than that, we shouldn't go throw it, super easy. Helpful? Yeah, that was real good. Something I've been dreaming for since I was a little kid, being able to participate in the combine. I don't understand how anybody's gonna actually feel comfortable passing on him. Uh, I feel like I'm the number one quarterback in this draft, and that's what I wanna go prove. Guys, we're going to go right to the podiums here. I'm feeling great. Uh, it has been a blast. A couple of days. Cooper, right up here to Sean. Just whenever they start asking, go for it. Is it important for you to be the first quarterback selected in this draft? Um, it's a goal. You know, if it happens, it happens. That's out of my control. I can just be the best I can be in this process and uh, continue to get better. The combine is big for him, not necessarily because of the stuff that happens on the field. A lot of it would be in the interview session. The interview's been great, being able to, you know, meet all the coaching staff, talk some football, and just get to know each other. Get in those meetings, look them in the eye, and tell them and show them you're a leader. You're a leader of men. I met with seven teams so far. Uh, my biggest night is tonight. I uh, have about 10 formal meetings. He has a show behind the scenes that he has the attitude and the aptitude to be a franchise quarterback. I'm hyped up to get out there and just be loose, be free, and go out there and then show what I have on the football field. He's not going to sign right now, guys. We got we to gotta go, go somewhere. Maybe when he's done. Possibly. 
Yeah, it's 10.30, the night before the big day here at the convention center in Lysol. Got to keep the work going and keep grinding so we can prepare for the next day. I feel good. Look, light, light run, light throw. All right, let's do um, just the, do the back pedal just to get a couple. We'll get two of those. Good. Go ahead. This is going to go super fast. It's going to be over super quick. Everyone's going to be stressed out and make it a really big deal. This is not a big deal. Yeah. So, just have fun. I told the other guys the same thing. It's just, just have fun. Right. It's easy. Right. You've been smiling through this stuff anyways. <laughs> Yep. Can't wait, get some good rest. And uh we're gonna turn tomorrow up. The National Football League Scouting Combine. Mike, the quarterback class of 2017, break it down for us. I think Deshaun Watson could go in the top ten. A, he's dynamic. B, he's athletic. He's got a plus arm. The next question is, do you believe he can make that jump and win in the pocket in the NFL? Yeah, it's the start of the day, the big day, money day. I'm excited. Can't wait to get out there and just cut it loose. Here's Deshaun Watson now. He came in in a real solid 221, which is good. Just walking up to the 40, something I never really experienced until I got here. His two games against Alabama in the national championship game yeah. make me just want to root for this kid. I knew that you know my start was going to be key. He runs a 4-6. It's just impressive on every level. I ran a 4-6. That was good enough for a quarterback. All the other stuff is going to take care of itself. We're now focusing on the quarterbacks. Deshaun Watson, current national champion. I know you want to be the number one quarterback taken. All you can do is kind of put your talents on display and hope that one team sees you as the franchise quarterback. My performance today was pretty good. You know, I felt smooth. My goal was being the uh, number one quarterback taken off the board. But I feel like, you know, this whole week just put me in that position. He's put on a show today as far as his footwork and his accuracy and location has been outstanding. You know, hopefully I put some pressure on them to make a decision that they can't pass me up and I'm the guy that can come in and lead the team. But, uh, this rolling right here? He's the, the new, the he new 40 champ. Make sure you put this on the film. Yeah, my, dog. my dog, you already know, I'll meet you up. Um, heading back to California. You know, getting ready for Pro Day, March 16th. So i um, headed back there tonight. Land in LA about 10. And, and, you know, rest up tomorrow, then go about the work Monday. It's 7 a.m. in the morning. Uh, here in Dana Point, Dana Hills High School, getting ready to uh, walk through our pro day script. So I want to actually set the whole thing. Everything that we're doing today is just like we'll do on the 16th. Pro day is where all the 32 teams come to the university and those players perform. So it's more detailed than the combine. It's, it's kind of more hands-on. Goal is just to show the teams what I'm about and what I can do. Solidifying that I'm the top quarterback. Clemson Pro Day today, a couple of big names on the field. Let's start with quarterback Deshaun Watson. Today's a big day, Pro Day. I'm just going to go out there, cut it loose, and show what I'm about. You know, I've done a bunch of these Pro Days. I would definitely anticipate this being one of the most packed any school's had in a long time. It's just a great day for them to be at home, be comfortable. It's important that he, that he throws the ball well. I want to highlight all of the things that Deshaun does well and show the improvement that he's made. Well, a couple of things you'll see today just on Deshaun in particular. The energy at the end of the ball, I know how important it is at the next level. The second thing is trajectory. Deshaun's had a bunch of big moments in front of huge crowds, but those crowds are up in the stands. And this pro day, the scouts and the GMs are right on the sideline. They're right there, pretty much on top of you the whole time. So we've taken the best player in the country, the best quarterback in the country, added a couple things, made it a little bit more efficient. The one thing I wanted to see on the mechanic side was his footwork under center. When his feet are good, he's really accurate. When his feet get a little sloppy, the ball reacts accordingly. 14-yard curl route. We're going to do this off a of ride 104, 105 gap or spider three, however you guys have it. Let's go. I just kind of focus on my tasks and what I got to do. But it's pretty cool to have those teams here watching you, especially on the field with you. So these receivers are flashing hands all three ways. He's not deciding whether the ball is driven, layered, or thrown with touch to the very end, tying our feet to our eyes. If you pass on him, it's like passing on Michael Jordan. That's the only way I know how to articulate 
the greatness of this kid. Yeah, we just finished the pro day, and I don't know, I'm biased, but I, I think it couldn't have gone better. Threw the laces off the ball. I was smiling the whole time. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. What I saw today was he's not a yeller, but he was in charge, and I really like that. Today was great. It was pretty solid. Missed a couple throws, uh, like three throws, but I had fun, you know, throwing around with the guys again. I'm, I'm like, so proud of him, and I don't know if I'm ever going to ever work with another guy like him. Yeah, I got a lot of love for this kid. What kind of interest are you getting from NFL teams? You've been out to dinner, you've been meeting with them that way? Yeah, I have dinner, uh, I have a couple workouts, a lot of visits planned up, just different things like that. So it's been real cool, blessed to be able to have the opportunity. I love the demeanor of this kid, the way he handles himself, and I really root for you. Good luck. Thank you, I appreciate that. I had fun throwing around with the guys again. One last time here at Clemson University, and just looking forward to draft day now and uh, you know, getting done with this process. Early morning in New York City, uh, about to go on a, a media tour, and then uh, we're going to head to Philly after this. What's your response to people who say, I like Trubisky more than Watson? Hey, man, you're going to have to live with the, the consequences that come with it. It's the first day of draft week on the train uh, to Philadelphia from New York City. Get ready to you know, go to the last phase of the, the whole process, and that's the draft. So. I'm excited for it. Feels good actually just to finally be here. It's the last journey, last phase of the process. It felt like a long way, but it went by pretty quick. <sighs> oh man, y'all know how good this feels. Early morning, about eight o'clock, about to have the commissioner meeting with all the other prospects. Do you have any hope for which team you want to go to? Not at all. I just want you to happy to go there. Call my name. I'm out there. That's all I want. Call it. You got it. Appreciate it. Today is a big day. Uh, you know, it's draft day. And right now I'm just getting uh, the pre cut. So I can look good on red carpeting in the green room. And all the work is done. This is waiting game right now, so there's nothing I can really do. I'm just gonna enjoy it and sit back and soak everything in. My mother and my auntie is gonna be on the red carpet with me. So I'm gonna have two beautiful ladies on each arm and, and just kind of enjoy the moment. Oh, yeah. championship game. Oh, yeah. He should be wearing those shoes, Deshaun Watson. Oh, yeah. Here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Hello, everybody. I'm Rich Eisen. The commissioner of the National Football League will be stepping in that stage to put the Cleveland Browns on the clock. The NFL draft is officially open. The Cleveland Browns are on the clock. Tonight's an amazing night because of the type of player he is. It doesn't matter where he goes. He's instantly going to make this team a better place. The Cleveland Browns select Miles Garrett. Well, we have our first trade of the night. With the second pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Mitchell Trubisky. There's going to be a trigger effect with Deshaun Watson, and it could be the Jets. The New York Jets select Jamal Adams. The Browns like Deshaun Watson. He's fallen down that way. You've got the Chargers at 7. You've got the Bills sitting there at 10. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh oh Kansas City is now on the clock. They just traded to move up 17 spots. With the 10th pick, the Kansas City Chiefs select Patrick Mahomes, the second. Quarterback. Oh. It is Patrick Mahomes, the second. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh -oh. The Texans just traded up with the Cleveland Browns. Hello? What's up? With the 12th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft. I'm good, I'm good. The Houston Texans select Deshaun Watson, quarterback, Clemson. 
Unbelievable, man. This is exactly what we wanted. He's, Bill O'Brien is the best quarterback coach to play for in the entire NFL. Man, this is God, man. This is the perfect situation for us, man. And God worked in mysterious ways. I'm just thankful and blessed. I'm just ready to get to Houston and work, man. As I look back, we was not supposed to be here. <laughs> We made it. Love, Mom. Love you, Mama. We made it. We would like to take this uh, wonderful opportunity to welcome this young man to the Texans organization. I'm in the perfect spot. Um, I'm in a great situation with a great organization. I'm just anxious to be able to call this place home. My main focus is being the, the best Houston Texan I can be, and I'll get him going to work. I only had one shot, and I made it on it. <laughs>